Okay, hey guys, um, this is the review of the Xperia U, as you can tell by the title. And, yeah, this is um, Android. It's not Ice Cream Sandwich yet, but they said it will be released soon, in the third quarter of the year. So, yeah. The side of the box, Xperia Next Series. Okay, so... At the back, it says it features the Bravia engine, 3D panorama, XLoud enhancement, 1 gigahertz dual core, 3.5 inch display, 5 megapixel camera, front facing camera, and also records at 720p. Okay, so it, this I'm gonna open this box up. I already opened it, so this is the phone. It's like Sony Xperia U. I got the white version. I'm gonna put that side. It comes with a charger and the typical stuff that it does, so, yeah. The cool thing about this phone, it has these extra tabs. You can change colors from the bottom. So, yeah, you can change colors from the bottom. So you can, like, put the, I'll show you. You have to, like, jiggle this out. Yeah, pull this out. And you can put on, like, a yellow one. Yeah, see, now you have a different color phone. And a cool feature about this um, phone, let me focus it again, sorry. Yeah, a cool feature about this phone is that uh, it, you can change the color of the bar. It like, corresponds to your different themes. So for example, I change it to, uh, let me see, blue. Then your display, like the little clear um, thing at the bottom, changes to blue as well. So every time you turn it on, it has a blue effect. So also, um, this also works with gallery, as I'll show you now. Uh, where is gallery? Okay. Gallery's here, and if we go to the default pictures, this one will change to a goldish color, bluish, uh, I don't know what color that is, then purple. Basically, it finds the most common color in your picture, and then makes the bar that color. Yeah. So I'm going to exit this menu. And another cool feature about this phone is the camera. I'll demonstrate that to you as well. The camera is uh, very nice. Like it's very clear as you can see. It has this focusing ring. It's not picking up very well on the camera though. Yeah, it's really clear and you can tell by the display it's very nice. So this display is, um, let me check this. It is... 8.89 uh, centimeters wide, so from here to here. So this display is very nice, and basically, I'm going to give you now a video um, demonstration of this phone now. Okay, so now we're using the phone's camera, and we're doing the same sweep. It's the Xperia logo, the phone, and then to the Android. So this phone's quite decent. As so now I'm going to do a benchmark on this phone. Kill some apps first. I'm going to do the Quadrant Standard. We're in the full benchmark. So I'll come back to you when it's finishing off the stuff. So yeah. Okay, so here are the results. So you can see that this device is faster than Samsung Galaxy Nexus and also the Nexus S. So it's quite, it's quite close to the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Uh, since the processor is much faster but the main thing on this device that's quite fast is I believe it's the 3D graphics as you can see it's faster than the Samsung Galaxy Tab okay so overall this product um, after a few days of testing I had no lag and also to mention that it's fully compatible with any headphones now well, as far as I know, I have the Beats by Dre here, Beats by Dre solos, and these work great with my phone. So if I play any song here, I have the script up, let me make the sound louder. As you can see that, you can hear the sound, and the mics also work great with this phone. 
before the um, other Sony phones, such as the Xper Xperia Mini Pro, um, it doesn't work with any of these um, he headsets. So then you can, like some of my headphones I had, I couldn't use with it. For the Xperia S, I have no trouble with it. I could use my iBeats as well. And everything works great. So thank you for watching my video. Make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And watch my other videos here. It's going to be up here. Okay. See ya.